Enchanté. And we're Alma. Now you're probably wondering why we are called that. It's actually the name of the street where we rehearse. But since going around various places in the in the world, we found out that it means lots of interesting things, isn't it? It means soul in Spanish. Uh, apple in Hungarian. Uh, kindness in Latin. And uh, in Hebrew, it actually means beautiful women. Um, I've always wanted to be in a band that has more than one thing in it. And um, I've known both of these guys for years. And um, Alma's had various different members, haven't we, over the last, last year, but it's as settled as this. Alma started with four fiddles, but when there were four fiddles, it, it seems to be there was a lot of doubling going on, a lot of people were just sort of playing the same part. So gradually it's got down to the point where we, we're now two fiddles, and we're very busy all the time. <laughs> and uh, Adrian keeps us in check. Um, over the years, I've gone to a lot of uh, summer schools in different countries and learned lots of fake music from, from all over the world. And so I really wanted to have a go at arranging some of those tunes. So the, the initial bulk of stuff for me was from that. So, and we've been using some original repertoire as well, so we've got, we've got some of our tunes in there. Yeah, I mean, I've also been on travels out to Bulgaria and Serbia a lot, so bringing some of that influence in to it as well. One of the things that I've found in the past is that I only really played English music and it's not that I don't adore the other sort of you know, tunes from other traditions in fact I think you know, they're, they're, there's amazing music out there but I've always kind of sort of shunned it in the sense that I, I couldn't honestly say that I was playing it properly according to that tradition so I have come to this band which is playing music from all over the world and I've found it really difficult in the sense that there's a lot of stuff that I just my fingers don't naturally fall into those into the way those tunes go. Um, but what I find fascinating is listening to people uh, playing English music who aren't from England. So there's a fiddler in France called uh, Didier Oliver. And when you listen to him play English tunes, it's absolutely fascinating because he plays them in a French way, but you never hear them played like that anywhere else. Um, it, you just get different things coming out of the tunes. So I think, for me, this band is really uh, interesting because we're playing music from all over the world, but in our way, and I hope that when other people listen to it who know that music from a different place, then uh, they hear our take on it and are intrigued and interested by it. <laughs> uh, we're in the middle of recording our, our album, so that's, so that's kind of a big thing that's happening right now. I'm touring that in June. Festivals in the summer. Um, it's being released on the 3rd of June. That's our, album, our album launches at the Family Museum, so we'll be having a bit of a party there. So I'm still playing with ASCII Sisters, we're doing a fair amount of gigs this year, and we're intending to start recording our new album, which will be out next year. Um, I'm currently working in a play in the West End called Nelgwyn, and for that I have to dress up as a kind of in Stuart costume and play Sean's recorder, bagpipes and fiddle. And um, I also play in a medieval band called The Artisans. We've got a Scottish tour coming up. And all three of us are in um, the A3 Cayley band as well, which um, has a fair bit of work coming up, including going to Croatia. Uh, and then right back to uh, we're doing a knees up at such a sharp yes. house in well, the April. yeah in April isn't it yeah uh, I'm doing quite a lot of gig work with a fantastic guitarist called Dave Malkin so that's a little duo called Dipper Malkin and I'm also doing some stuff with a guy called James Patterson who's a fantastic singer and a guitarist and uh, what else am I doing? Uh, Oh yes, Methera, that will be the thing. So Methera are going to be recording an album uh, in about two months' time and then releasing it in probably November, I think. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my, well, I play tambura, Bulgarian tambura, like a sort of eight-string loop. So I have a project called Ahai with a singer from Belgrade. And uh, we do kind of electro-folk sort of... Well, it's mostly new music, but with kind of influences from traditional music. Um, so we're doing that, we're working on new tracks at the moment, trying try to maybe get a, a label interested. And he's also getting married! Oh. <laughs> <laughs>